hey guys welcome to my channel is worry babe here if you're a returning subscriber what's up welcome back if you're new here what's up hello um today i'm going to be giving you guys another hair tutorial i know i just dropped one last week but it's another month so i have a new hair tutorial for you guys and this actually only took three hours okay so if you'd like to see how i installed these locks from toyo tress hair continue watching i wanted this hairstyle to be quick as possible because i did not have that much time for it i knew that i had 80 crochet strands so it just wasn't possible to do single locks all throughout my hair but i did want the front to be single locks so I decided to flat twist the middle and back section of my head this went by faster than you know if I was actually doing cornrows so if you know how to flat twist and you don't know how to cornrow this is perfect for you I put the wig cap on the section that I had flat twisted and I honestly just began adding crochet strands to connect my hair to the wig cap and you know with the crochet hair. At this point I had kind of like figured out that I was going to do 44 strands in the back so I can have 36 left for the front. I know it's weird. I kind of like did the math before I even started. So you know I knew that I had to distribute the 44 strands I had um, pretty evenly so like you don't see sections of the back of the hair that just doesn't have any crochet on it. Like you need it to fall nicely and cover up the wig cap itself it's also helpful to like crochet around the perimeter of the wig cap so like that section is secured and then in the middle you can just go however you want okay All right, now for the front, I took a different approach. Like I said, I wanted the front to be individual locks, but then what I did was I crocheted the lock with my own lock, and then I twisted my lock with another of my lock. I feel like that, that just sounded like so confusing, so it's just better for you to watch me as I do it. But 
but then what I should end up with is the actual crochet lock and then my hair like my twisted up locked hair if that makes sense okay and then you seal them together by wrapping this twisted up um, afro twist crochet hair around it that's the hair I chose to use because like that's the one I bought but you can get so many different you know crochet hair for sealing both up at the beauty supply so up to you So like I said in the beginning, this hair took a total of three hours, you guys. Three hours. Me, that is normally sitting down for like 16, 12, a lot of hours. So three hours, I was like, yes, okay. And I actually love the way it turned out. I do love the way it turned out. However, just knowing me, this is, this is just a personal preference thing. I just would have loved a lot more hair like I would have loved a lot more strands than 80 um, that's honestly because I feel like the back could be more full um, like the wig cap if I run my hands through it there are sections that are like <laughs> there's no hair here and you can't see it because you know it falls down nicely my wig cap is black my hair and the crochet hair is black so like everything blends really really well but 
I know in my head that I could have had more hair here. Anyways, I still feel like the hair came out cute. Like I said, I love it. It's something that was quick, easy, and still stylish. So definitely check out Toyo Tress hair on TikTok. That's where I found them. Um, but I'm going to have their other links in the description box if you guys are interested in this style. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.